Hi, I'm Rick, the Rockhound Realtor. Feel free to uh, click on the links below and follow us and subscribe and uh, check out our links to our real estate business. And uh, real estate is what sponsors all of our rock hounding tours that we do. So feel free to, to follow us and uh, send us real estate questions in, in, in business. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right, so next we're gonna use a Geiger counter to measure radioactivity to see if a mineral is radioactive or not. And uh, you always start with background. So we just hold it up and, and listen. You can hear a click there and here and there. You can see none of these other things are radioactive. I'm not radioactive. But you get moving on this specimen, it's very radioactive. So, and it's, oddly, it's just the yellow crust on top, which I already know is the mineral Tayuma Moomite. Sure. Alright, so this is some hydrochloric acid, HCl. Let's see. And uh, we're going to test a couple of minerals here. You can see we have one here that could be quartz uh, or could be calcite. Uh, so hydrochloric acid will react to anything that's a carbonate mineral. So if we suspect it's calcite then or dolomite, uh, two common uh, carbonate minerals, then we can test for those very easily with just a drop of hydrochloric acid. So there you go. You can see no reaction whatsoever. I'm just going to use that to dump onto this one. You can see it fizzing like crazy. It's called effervescing. which is more fun to say than fizzing. I'll put another drop on there. To... So the, the product that's left on here when it's done fizzing uh, is mostly just water So what's li what, in, in lime. And so what it's doing is the reaction is you get uh, calcium carbonate and plus hydrochloric acid. So you get a gas of chlorine and some water coming off of there, fizzing off. And what's left on here is calcium oxide, which is uh, just lime and water. So theoretically, when this is all done, you can look it. It's not going to cause you from to get to not be dehydrated.